Something that was uh, a bit of a surprise. State veteran affairs officials apparently saying they have not made up their minds to tear down and rebuild the Fayetteville Veterans Home. That news coming out of a hearing that just wrapped up in downtown Raleigh and WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie was there to hear the discussion. Laura joins us now live. This kind of seems like a big change, Laura. <laughs> Well, state lawmakers certainly seem to think so. They've been pushing back against the closure of the Fayetteville facility after less than 25 years. You know, 85 veterans had to be relocated from that home when it closed just about a month ago. And state lawmakers are now asking whether that was really necessary. Brian Pierce is deputy secretary of the State Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. He said the Fayetteville facility has significant structural flaws, plus mold and water damage made worse by Hurricane Florence in 2018. Pierce said an engineering firm who gave them estimates for repairs put the price tag at about $24 million. The state's share of the cost of a brand new facility would be $29 million. But state lawmakers like George Cleveland are questioning whether a new building is really needed. Needed. We got a problem, and it's, and it's a communications problem and a planning problem. And they question why it was necessary to relocate all those veterans on short notice. Pierce said they made the decision not to expose the elderly veterans to any additional risk. We probably poorly communicated it. Our, our first and foremost concern was getting the residents out of there. The decision's not been made what the disposition of the building is going to be. State lawmakers said Veterans Affairs Secretary Walter Gaskin told them recently he had decided the building would be replaced. Gaskin did not attend today's oversight meeting. He also missed an earlier meeting, so legislators were not able to question him directly. Now, I've asked the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs to explain their change in position and why Secretary Gaskin was not there at today's meeting. So far, they have not responded. Dan? All right. I know you'll stay on it. Laura Leslie reporting live. Thank you.